हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर ट्वेल्व द मस्कुलर सिस्टम एंड डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इन ह्यूमन बींग्स फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस लेट्स रिकॉल क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट व्हाट इज मेड बाय ऑर्गन सिस्टम ग्रुप ऑफ आवर बॉडी ऑर्गन्स वर्किंग टुगेदर टू परफॉर्म वेरियस फंक्शंस is called as an organ system example nervous system digestive system skeleton system excretory system circulatory system and muscular system second question how are the bones in our body joined to each other bones are all connected to each other they are joined together by tissues called ligament another tissue cartilage is between bones cartilage protects bones from rubbing against each other now students perform this activity close your fist tightly and bend your arm at the elbow now feel the upper part of this arm with the fingers of your other hand what did you experience did you feel the hardness in the upper arm this fleshy part consists of muscle muscles contract and relax as different parts of our body move muscles give our body a specific shape and posture what is meant by muscle muscles are bundles of fibers that can contract and relax as required tendons muscles are firmly attached to bones by means of tendons when muscles contract there is movement at the joint and the bones move either nearer to or away from each other the action of muscles is necessary for all kinds of movements from the small movements of eyelids to those that demand great strength as when chopping wood with an axe we use muscles for various movements like talking laughing walking jumping throwing etc now use your brain power question which parts of our body are made up only of muscles liver stomach heart large and small intestine etc these body parts are made up of only muscles do you know children there are more than 600 muscles in the human body muscles contribute almost 40% of the weight of an adult human body now types of muscles mainly there are two types of muscles voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles first voluntary muscles the muscles which function on our will are known as voluntary muscles example muscles in our arms and legs are voluntary muscles actions such as walking eating they are depend upon our will second one involuntary muscles the muscles which do not function on our will are known as involuntary muscles example the muscles of organs like stomach intestine heart they are involuntary muscles the functions such as breathing blood circulation digestion etc they are does not depend upon our will now types of muscles skeletal muscles heart or cardiac muscles and smooth muscles first we'll study about skeletal muscles the two ends of 
each of these muscles are attached to different bones examples of such muscles are muscles of the arms and legs their movements are voluntary they are also responsible for holding the bones of the skeleton together and giving shape to our body second heart or cardiac muscle the movement of these muscles is involuntary means does not depend upon our wish these muscles bring about the contraction and relaxation that is heart beating and cardiac muscles cause our heart to relax and contract continuously at a rate of about 70 times per minute now third one smooth muscles these muscles are involuntary these muscles are present in the internal organs other than the heart for example muscles of the stomach intestine blood vessels uterus etc various vital functions of our body of which we remain quite unaware are carried out by these special muscles now can you tell question how do muscles perform their functions muscles perform their function by contraction and relaxation muscles in our body always work in groups when some muscles contract other muscles of the same group relax this is how muscles help in the proper performance of the various functions of our body the muscle on the front of the bone in our upper arm is called the biceps the muscle at the back is called the triceps now use your brain power question what would happen if the cardiac muscles do not move the contraction and relaxation of heart would stop if the cardiac muscles do not move this would further stop the functioning of heart completely and leads to death second question what would happen if food enters the stomach and the stomach muscles do not move if food enters the stomach and the stomach muscles do not move then proper mixing of food with gastric juice will not take place and food would remain undigested always remember muscles of our body must be strong and efficient our diet must include proteins and carbohydrates in sufficient quantity for the proper growth and repair of muscles we must get regular exercise it makes the muscles strong we must sit with a straight back and not with the back hunched or bent otherwise gradually changes occur in the structure of the vertebrae muscles in the shoulder and back begin to hurt disorders of the vertebral column may also arise during exercise movements of the heart muscles become more rapid breathing too becomes faster ensuring a sufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients to various parts of the body i hope you have understood the topic so for better understanding read the topic once again 